What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another video about D5 Render for you. So it's been a little while since I've talked about D5 Render and I wanted to talk through some of the new things that have been added, some of the improvements they've been making, things like that. So um, as always, I'd love to hear your comments down below of what you think about the features and uh, just D5 Render in general. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So they've released a couple different versions of D5 Render since I really talked about it last time. Um, the most recent is version uh, 1.5.1 and so I'm just gonna run through this video a little bit and then there's some things that I kind of want to I, I kind of want to talk through as well just because I haven't covered them in a previous video and so what I'm gonna do is first of all let's take a look at this video and I'm gonna go ahead and mute this for right now actually I don't need to mute this so in the newest version 1.51 they've made some different enhancements so that you don't have so they've made some different enhancements for the animation so edges have been smooth and um, they're kind of freer of flickering so that's definitely an improvement on the animation function and I will probably make a video about this in the future so you can now export up to 8k but they've got up to 8k output on your images now so you can get those really high resolution images and so they've got a number of different foliage assets, which I'm gonna talk through in a minute because I haven't actually showed you the foliage editor and adding tools that they added in a recent version. But you can now download foliage assets, bring them into your rendering. So you can also place things like grass and other things like that. So um, so if you want, let's, let's actually, Let's actually go ahead and take a look at this. So this is the new D5 render page. They've got a great demo model, which we may look at in a second, um, that really kind of gives you an idea of the power of the rendering engine. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new project and I'm gonna open some terrain that I created inside of SketchUp. So it's very simple terrain. There's not a whole lot to it. It's basically just some ups and downs of some hills. So you can see it right here. It's just some hilly assets. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to a different HDRI background um, just for what we're going to do right here. But what I haven't talked about recently is they now have an asset library. And you can go in here and you can download different assets. So for example, if I click on my assets, or actually on model, not on my assets. If you click on model, you can see how there's a number of different assets that you can download just by clicking on them. So for example, they've got trees that you can now bring in. So you can download all of these and put them in your model. And then all you need to do is just click in order to place them in that model. And so if we look at this, this is a fairly high quality asset that's gonna render out pretty well. And I didn't have to pay anything to bring this in. I don't know what that's going to be in the uh, official release, but for right now, um, they've got these different assets that you can bring in. And they seem to be mostly focused on vegetation for right now, um, but they've also got some of these more high quality trees that if you zoom in on them, they're higher polygon, um, but they're gonna render out a little bit better. So you can see how um, they've got these assets in here that you can place. And then one other thing about this is notice that they also added um, paint tools. And these paint tools are fairly obviously built on Unreal Engine's paint tools. So if you click on this button right here, for example, and let's drop, let's drop more of this tree in here. You can adjust the radius of that placement tool, but you can see how you can actually paint in different trees based on the settings in here. And so you can set the variation. So if they're more big or small, the randomization, things like that, but you can also apply a grass material. And so they also have materials you can bring in. So if you go to like the ground materials, for example, and download like this green mossy woodland, you can drag this onto a surface and apply it as a texture. So you can see how I can apply this as a texture on this face. And then we'll go ahead and go into the UV settings and we're going to make this a little bit bigger so we don't have that same tiling that we had before. So you can see how you can apply that really easily. Well, then you can come in with your uh, model assets. So in particular, we're gonna go into the grass. You can download these grass materials and select multiple materials with this tool. So you can click on the corner like this, and then you can paint that material in here. And so you can see how this is definitely the Unreal Engine grass placement tool. Um, so it's very familiar but you can adjust like the size of the grass that you bring in. You can see how you can add that vegetation really quickly and really easily. So now there's an asset library inside of D5 Render. 
And so now if we jump back over into the D5 render trailer, we'll just keep watching this and looking at some of the other features. So you can definitely see that they've made some improvements to the render engine as well. I'm really excited to see where this goes in the official release, but you can see how the lighting looks really great in here. So they're also consistently upgrading the engine in here. So if you've ever used D5 Render, you know that it can heat your computer up a little bit. It's got some kind of high, um, it's got some kind of high hardware requirements in here. So any performance improvements are definitely welcome. And then their highlight control allows you to really kind of adjust the highlights created by their lighting. So we may need to do another video just taking another look at the artificial light settings with kind of a setting kind of like this one, um, but they're constantly improving those as well. So you can see how you're getting really kind of high quality light coming off of those artificial lights. So really excited about some of the improvements they're making. The other thing I wanted to do in this video is I just wanted to go back to the welcome page. And in addition to that, I just wanted to open up this living room demo and just take a look at it. So you can still download this beta. I will link to this in the notes down below, but let's go ahead and open up this project. And so if you look at this, this model is actually a really great representation of what you can create inside of D5 Render. So I really like when they provide you a high quality scene like this, because what you can do is you can kind of reverse engineer the scene and figure out what they did to get the result that they're getting. And then you can kind of learn from that in order to create your own results as well. But if you look at this, like these are high quality, um, fairly well textured assets. So they've done a really good job mapping the textures in here. Then they've also got all of their different artificial lights in here as well. So you can access all of this by looking at your different resources in here. And you can see how these are all adjustable in real time, So, which is one of the strengths of this engine. But you can see I can move this up and down um, in order to adjust the way the lighting is achieved. But I love that they're providing this high quality test image that you can kind of take a look at. And then if you click back and forth between the scenes, you can see how all of these different scenes um, really do a good job of illustrating the power of the engine. So I would say definitely go download this scene and check it out. You can learn a lot from this um, just by taking a look at kind of what they've created in here. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this engine, what you think about these features. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.